Hi guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're gonna look at how to work with groups. So, I'm just gonna zoom in here. I've got this drawing open, so I'm going to zoom in about here. And now I'm gonna select this object. As you can see that I've got a separated object. I've got separated lines, which made this um, chair. So let's say I wanna make that chair as a group. So the command is basically right there on your panel, on the ribbon, sorry. So it says create a group. So I'll select this command and I'll select this chair. And now I can even give it a name or I can type a description. So I just press space bar for now and I select this. And now you can see that this chair is basically a group. Why? Because it's got only one group now. So it's basically group now so I can even copy that and I don't have to select the whole object so I just click anywhere on the object and it will select the whole group so maybe I'll copy this here and I can mirror that now MI from this midpoint to that point All right, I've got four chairs around the table now so let's say you want to edit the group so what you can do is um, you, there is a command here group selection off or on so if I just click here it will select the whole object so if I turn off this command and now I go back and select my group as you can see that um, I can't select the whole group because that group selection is off so that's why so I can go back and let's say I'll toggle this back on and my group will come back as it was so there's not many difference so if you want to edit the group you can do that by clicking this group edit command click here and you wanna click the group and now you can add object remove object so I'll just turn off my selection first and then I'll select this line and I'll just change the radius to show you guys alright and now I'll go and turn this on so as you can see that anything you do with the objects by turning this off and when you turn this back on the group will come back as a group so okay so now let's say I will draw another rectangle here I'll change my layer to zero first and I will mirror this maybe that doesn't look good so I'll delete that and I'll draw another rectangle like that and I'm going to mirror that okay so now I've got two objects which are not part of the group so I can do that as well so I can first of all I can turn off this selection and I want to trim off these lines okay so now if I turn this on selection on and I select my group so you can see that these two rectangles are not part of the group so how do we add them so you select this command you go group edit first of all you can type the name of the group but I'm gonna select that and now I'm gonna click on add objects uh, I'll select this object that object that object that object and press spacebar and now if I go and select this it's a complete group now so that's how you can add or remove objects from your group okay so at any point you want to break your group so you can do that by just clicking this command ungroup and select that and the group has been exploded now as you can see that my group selection is on but it's been exploded so if I go and select this these are the, the groups now that anything you change with this it doesn't really affect on any of the other group in your drawing so if I unselect, if I check this 
and uh, if I click this and turn it off and I select this now as you can see there is no group exists in the drawing now because there are but we can't select them because that selection is off so I'll always keep that on so let's have a look at the shortcut commands now for the group you type group and you got the command for the ungroup type un group you got the ungroup there and just alias for the group is just type g and the group command will come up so all right that's it for this video guys that's how you work with your group so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next